I was muted. All right, welcome back, everybody. Um, we're going to get our next game loaded up here. Got high hopes for this one. Hopefully it works. There we go. Well, I guess you know what we're playing, huh? <laughs> Looks like the picture's a little off. Give me one second. Let me, uh... See if I can adjust the picture for y'all. I hope the last one wouldn't look like that. Oh, that messed it up even more, didn't it? What if I just do this? That didn't help. Hmm, this one's not... Was the other one showing off like that? Was the, was the picture off on the last one that we played? Seems like that's making it... Okay. There we go. Sorry. That's weird. I hope that the last one didn't look all janky. Did it? Hang on. Anyway, whatever. We're playing Batman the Video Game for the Game Boy. This was another little Game Boy platformer that came out in um, the late 80s, early 90s. It was uh, reasonably fun. Reasonably fun. And we're going to get right into it. One interesting thing about this one that always bugged me, even as a kid, which you're going to immediately pick out. I've just heard that Jack has sneaked into the Axis chemical factory. Okay, got it. Okay. Is that... Batman's gonna have a gun. It's it. He's got a gun. He can jump. His jumps are very floaty. And he's got a gun. It's not a stun gun. It's a honest to god. Now you're dead gun. He can crouch. He can jump. There doesn't appear to be a timer. Like I said, the jumps, you can like... Ooh. Okay. This very much... Oh, that's just a lot of points, I guess. Um, very much feels like a natural... I don't want to say natural. This feels like an evolution of the Super Mario World, or Super Mario Land, I guess, game for the original Game Boy. Um, like, I feel like those blocks are actually just pulled straight from Super Mario Land. I have to go back and play it to be sure, though. Oh. Oh, well. Luckily, that guy's a fool. Oh, I missed. No going back on the screen. Once you move forward, you have advanced the screen, and that's where you live now. What's this? Oh, like a little shield. Okay. Can't hurt him. I guess I'll never know. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. So the little batarangs can hurt the baddies. Ooh. This is another one that I had as a kid. Didn't really know what I was doing. Um, as with most things. Oh. Oh. Can I yump? I can't. Oh, yeah, baby. Wave beam. So I guess if you're just good at jumps, then you just don't have to play the actual game, huh? <laughs> oh, I think those little pill things are speeding up the batarangs. Okay. Nice. 
this. Okay, okay. The chemical factory. Mm. Oh, well now you're just stuck. These guys are taking multiple hits to kill now. Can you? Oh my god, you can crouch. I was like, can you crouch walk at this? I don't think he, I was just saying, I don't think he can like slide or whatever. That's cool. You just like, just squeeze down through. <laughs> just be like, do, 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 do. <laughs> that's funny. Do, do, do. Mm. Oh. oh yeah okay so those things definitely just speed you up yeah this one I don't want to I don't want to like mess myself up but it seems fairly easy ish Or power shot? I don't know. Oh, is this how we get to warp, warp world one? <laughs> what is that? Hang on. Oh, it's a bomb. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I mean we're only in world two, world two, level two, whatever you want to call it. So, it could there could be 30 levels and the last one is just, you know, torture. So Whoa. Little little RC car coming after me there. Yes, is that spread? No, that's I think that's the short range one. I think I started with S. I'm not going to mess with that. I like I like this one. This one seems to do good damage. I like it. It's one shot in all these enemies and the wave beam was taken to it, so. Whee! Huh. Oh. Oh, they zoom in now. <laughs> oh. There's the exit. That's the second stage. Stage 1-2, 1-3 now. The chemical factor. Ah! I don't know what the points do. Do the I don't know if you get like extra lives when you get a certain number or what. This was right in that that time period where all games still required scoring. It wasn't enough to beat the game. You had to earn points. Huh. Oh lord. No. <laughs> what is this? Oh, I can shoot more bullets now. R. Dare I? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter because I just fell in a hole like a dumb. <laughs> oh my goodies! Oh no. Oh, well, I keep my gun at least. I just lost my batarangs. Damn it. Oh, you know what? This is bad, though, because if you miss with this, you have to wait for him to go off the screen. Oh. Oh. Oh, man, that actually took a lot of health. So you want to just, like, kind of keep a nice little flow going.
They do a shitload of damage, though. Oh, the bonus went away. Oh, because I've got it. Okay, yeah. That makes sense. Because I've still got the third shot that I earned from that. Oh, that was a little baby jump that almost killed me. Yeah. Oh, spooky. No! Oh, I got scared. Batman! Hey, boot blacking. Welcome in. I'm Batman. <laughs> Listen, some of us have what it takes to be Batman, and some of us don't. <laughs> I do not. Perth was like, this game seems easy. And then I proceeded to fall to my death. <laughs> secrets? No, no secrets. I still don't know how I feel about these little batarangs. <laughs> it was a skill issue. You're absolutely right. I'm not even going to try. Oh, it was an extra life, too. Oof. Well, now my batarangs that I don't have go faster, so there's that. <clears throat> yeah, they gave me all those shields before. And now not so much. I, I don't trust this. <coughs> I bet that reduces. I'm not grabbing it. I don't want to risk it right here at the end. Batman versus Jack. I'm Jack. Wait, can I just like park him on him? Oh. Jack, please stop. Oh, and down he goes. Okay, well, enjoy the, enjoy the briny deep. Jack. Hey, Batman. You know nobody can destroy me. <laughs> Do I know that? <laughs> Is Jack Napier immortal? <laughs> Now, I will say, again, surprisingly, music's not terrible. Whoa! That's terrible, though. Hate that. Oh, this is dirty. <laughs> oh. Okay. So they're giving me the batarangs now. Will the batarangs destroy the things? They will not. And I will die. <laughs> and I will die. <laughs> Oh, so much for my batarangs. They were fun while they lasted. Who? So I just need to shimmy. Ha! Huh? 
Huh. All right, perfect. So now I can't fall to my death, in theory. All right. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Okay, thank God. Oh, I think this is gonna subtract a shot. Yep. Oh, I hated that. Oh, I lost a battering. Oh, but I didn't take health damage, though. Oh, you bastard. So those are like free hits, and they that's actually a really good power-up. A free hit, and they do damage to enemies that hit the Batarangs, but not Batman. Oh. I was like, is it worth it? I don't think it is. <laughs> you know what? I'm going back to the rafters where it's safe. Get wrecked, get wrecked. Boo. Well, I can shoot through walls and they can't because I'm Batman, so. Can't be done. Oh, I guess you'd have to get it from there and then. Okay. Whoa. What is this? The Flugelheim Museum. I never knew the Joker employed so many robots in his schemes. So many dudes down there. This is the termination. I'm sure some of that stuff is health, and I'm just scared to try and get it. Oh, yep, there we go. True enough. Oh. you a fair number of extra lives. Oh. Two extra lives. So what bullshit is up ahead that's gonna re require so many extra lives? Is it just me being bad at games? Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, that was just a terrible jump. That was a skill issue, as Perth would say. So, how are we feeling about this? Um, well, there, it doesn't have the janky scrolling that the last one had, so there's that. Oh, shit. Um, <coughs> enemy variety is essentially non-existent. You've got guys in jumpsuits that shoot, guys in jumpsuits that don't shoot, and guys in jump jumpsuits that move slightly faster and shoot. Um, and then a bunch of different robots that all basically do the same thing. Um, it seems like most of the difficulty from the game is a function of the power-ups that you have. And my inability to play basic platforming. Um, hmm. They gave Batman a gun, which is an interesting direction to give to the superhero that hates guns. It's like one of his core character features is that he doesn't do guns. Music's not bad. Hmm. Oh. I knew it. It's a it's S for shit. It's a shit weapon. Look. Yep. I could do without the the forced downgrades like the forced downgrades to your weapons which I've been trying to dodge for the most part but with mixed results um, I do like that there's actually something like some uh, some choice in the paths like you can choose to take the high path or the low path and sometimes that leads you to different upgrades and things you know um, which is pretty cool, but it's a lot of just trial and error to know which way to go, it seems like. <clears throat> I don't know how I feel about not being able to backtrack, like the stages, like, like as you move forward, the screen just locks in position. I could see that having the potential to set you up for for failure, you know? I don't know how I would even get that. Like right there, look at that. That's a forced downgrade in power and the number of bullets right there, just because you took the bottom path. That's not super nice. They do give you a lot of extra lives. Oh, I could tell that was a secret. You can see the little black pixels there. Okay, that's cool. Um, the upgrades are wildly inconsistent though like you know you go through one stage and it's like three three bat shields and, and bombs and everything else and then the next one and then you like don't see a batarang for ten minutes the cinematics are a nice touch though they're actually fairly well done for a 45 year old 35 year old Oh, Batwing stage. Oh, shit. Oh, never mind. I'm going to shut up. Things just changed entirely, y'all. Um, 
Yeah, this this also feels very much like Super Mario Land, right? Super Mario Land had those little the little sky stages and the submarine stages. This very much feels like that. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Oh my god. This feels like a nice touch. Oh, can't can't dodge up there. The little bat the, the bat movies or the batter the, the, the bat plane stages, sorry. I don't even know what vehicle I'm in. So is this the U.S. military that's coming after me? Jesus. What the hell is this thing? Oh! No! Well, y'all. I think it's safe to say I'm about to die. God. Oh, I was like, what the fuck are those? They're the they're the parade floats from the Michael Keaton movie. <laughs> hmm. Oh, it's got an extra life, I guess. Every hundred thousand points is an extra life, maybe. Can't be fifty thousand, or I'd already have nine lives. I do like that that we're fighting a mixture of Zeppelins, U.S. Army jets, or like like like. We're fighting. We're fighting a mix of like World War II bombers, F-16s, Zeppelins, and spaceships <laughs> over Gotham. They're pulling out all the stops. <laughs> Whoa, shit! Okay. Whoa. Is that it? No, that's not it. There's more. Now we're fighting, like, a heavy helicopter from Advance Wars. I'm just gonna stand here and hope for the best, maybe? Wow, I cannot believe that worked. <laughs> okay. Oh. I've prepared a special surprise for the 200th anniversary of Gotham City. Why don't you join me? Ha 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 ha! I could. Gotham Cathedral. All right. So, <clears throat> I'm going to reclaim my time on this one. Um, hmm. How do I feel about this? Music was okay. 
Music was okay. Um, the stages were kind of, you know, whatever. It's you, you, you move forward and you jump, and you shoot, and there are blocks, and some of the blocks have bonuses. Um, it seems like there's a wide variety of upgrades that you can get. I'm not wild about the downgrades. Um, they let you keep the upgrades when you die, which is nice. You lose your batarangs or whatever, which is not. Um, I don't know. It just, it seems, it seems like the, so like, so once you've, once you've gotten most of the upgrades in a stage and then die, they don't respawn with the exception of like the changes in gun type. So like the number of bullets stays the same. You don't get more, you don't get more lives. You can't earn extra bonus points. You can't earn extra batarangs, which I think is kind of shitty. Um, it seems inconsistent. The stuff that you can get and then the stuff that you can keep in each each level feels inconsistent. Um, and inconsistency is not a thing that should come to mind first when you're talking about whether a game is good or not. Well, it's fun sometimes. Um, the actual gameplay didn't feel super engaging to me like you can see i played i played the last game for almost an hour um i was in the last level and then i just stopped i don't know how many levels are left in this and i'm not super eager to find out like i could have played for another 15 minutes and maybe i'd beat another stage or two but like even the batwing stage i was like oh the bat we get to do the batwing and then like it immediately i don't know it wasn't it's not bad it's not a bad game. It's just, it is a game. It, it didn't, like, I probably won't play this one again. You know, it's it, it's not something that leaves me wanting to see the next stage. Wanting to see what they're going to, you know, throw at me next. Um, it, it just, it seems like it's it kind of teeters back and forth between just being a game that you play and... A game that kind of tries to like disadvantage the player and not through you know challenging enemies or challenging stage design but by forcing downgrades on you in, unless you've already played the game before and have memorized the um, the layout of the power-ups I think that's the that's the thing that I that it's just like there's like this kind of baked into the game is like this expectation that you're going to play it over and over. Like they expect you to enjoy it so much. You're going to keep playing it and you're going to memorize everything in the game. And that's going to make it more fun. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Like I said, I, and I'm comparing it obviously to another Game Boy game that I literally just played which had some pretty glaring flaws, but also was more fun somehow, just because of it just being weird. Also, we have to we have to say that the game giving giving Batman a gun, like that's, mm, I'm actually a little surprised that the, the people who hold the license for Batman would have even allowed that. Like, I don't know what the, what the legal framework was for, for this game being licensed. But I'm actually pretty surprised if if DC Comics was involved in any way. I'm actually pretty surprised that they would even allow a, a Batman game where Batman uses a gun as his only means of, of battling the bad guys. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, um, we gave the last one three stars. Do I think the last one was better than this one? Yes. So... People might get mad at me. Two and a half stars. It Functionally, it's a better game, but it just was not as fun as the other one. Even though the other one was janky and, and, and unfair at times, it was also... It also kept me, kept me on my toes in a way that this game did not. Um, 
So yeah, I'd say two and a half stars for this one. Um, as before, I'm gonna I'm gonna provide a little buffer, and then we'll we'll tackle our third and final game for today. Um, so yeah, don't go anywhere. We got another another Game Boy game from yesteryear coming at you in just a moment. 